Hello everyone! Welcome to JEC! Yohei Sensei です。So, today we are going to look at this idiom. Noun plus chu. Noun plus chu. So, putting chu after the specific noun shows the action is continuing. So, today let me introduce some of the words noun plus chu okay, and that the Japanese people often use it. So, please keep watching. Are you ready? Here we go! So, noun plus chu indicates that something takes place during this time. Okay, so let's learn how to use it. This picture, mm, Ken is studying right now. Ken is studying right now. So, for this case, you can use chu. Benkyo means studying, and this is noun. Benkyo, benkyo. So, Benkyo plus chu. Benkyo chu. Benkyo chu. Benkyo chu. Mm, the answer is Ken wa benkyo chu desu. Ken wa benkyo chu desu. Okay, so also here, Ken is cleaning. Yeah, Ken is cleaning right now. Yeah, right now. So, for this case also, you can use chu. Mm. So cleaning means soji. This is noun. So soji plus chu. Soji chu. Soji chu. So the, the answer is here. Ken wa soji chu desu. Ken wa soji chu desu. Okay. okay. One more. If Ken is calling right now. Ken is calling. Ah, moshi moshi. Ken is calling right now. You can use. Yes, chu. Yeah, chu. Calling. Denwa. Denwa. Yeah, this is also noun. So, denwa plus chu. Denwa chu. Denwa chu. Denwa chu. So, ken wa denwa chu desu. Ken wa denwa chu desu. Yeah, ken is calling right now. Just now. Okay. So, in addition, noun plus chu can be specific period or specific span, which means like during. Yes. For example, uh, during test, during test, like, please be quiet during the test. So how would you say during the test? Hmm. This is for this case. You can also use chu. Testo plus chu. Testo plus chu. Testo chu. Testo chu. Testo chu. Like this. Testo chu wa shizuka ni shite kudasai. Testo chu wa shizuka ni shite kudasai. Okay. Uh, another example can be during summer vacation. During the summer vacation. So, summer vacation means natsu yasumi. Natsu yasumi. This is noun. So, natsu yasumi plus chu. Natsu yasumi plus chu. Natsu yasumi chu. Natsu yasumi chu. Natsu yasumi chu, which means during summer vacation. So, like, I'm in Japan during summer vacation. I'm in Japan during summer vacation means Natsu yasumi chu wa nihon ni imasu. Natsu yasumi chu wa nihon ni imasu. Okay, so noun plus chu can be specific span, so specific period, which means like during. Does it make sense? Finally, Please refer to this list if you want. Eigyo chu, soji chu, kaigi chu, daieto chu, and so on. So I pick up some words that are used often in daily conversation. Mm. Screenshot time. Three, two, one. Okay. So I strongly recommend to memorize these words because they are really useful in daily conversation. Okay, so that's all we have time for today. Yay! So today we studied how to use noun plus chu. That shows that something takes place during this time. And also specific period, specific span. And please keep in mind, chu is always together with nouns. I hope this short lesson helped you understand how to use noun plus chu. If you have any questions or comments or requests, Please write down 
in the box below. So thanks for watching today and see you next time. Sayonara. Chu. A chu. A chu chu chu. A chu chu chu. So today we study how to use noun plus chu. That shows something takes place during this time or a specific span or a specific period. And please keep in mind, chu is always together with nouns. Okay. So I hope this short lesson helped you understand how to use noun plus chu. Hmm. This JC channel introduces the Japanese basic phrases that are often uh, used in daily conversation. If you have any questions or comments or requests, please write down in the box below. So thanks for watching today and see you next time. Sayonara. Achoo. 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 Achoo.